Come on with it. Come on with it. Come on through. I'm waiting on you. Come on. Come on through. Come on through. Come on through, fam. Come on through. Come hang out with me, fam. Give you this move of the day. Give you this life. Homework of today. Because I give you everything. Told you I'm like a new tobacco. I'm giving you the best that I got. I'm saying. And I do it every day. What's up, gorgeous people? Who I got with me? Let me, let me look. Hold on. Y'all give me a second. Hold on. Lonnie up here. Lynn up here. Misty up here. Deion. Uh, let's see. Deidre up here. Lonnie. Thank you for the share. Now the vet up in here. What's up, gorgeous people? What's up, beautiful people? Man, what's good? What's good? Nicole up in here. Pleasantly happy. Shoot, I'm waving back at you. Boom with the hand. Boom with the hand. Miss Karma, 82. Boom with the hand. I'm giving that hand back to you. Shoot, we got everybody. Let's see, Nicole, Kim Sims, Jennifer Star Clark, Yelena Laurie. Thank you for the share. Y'all share this for me. And if you on Insta, if you on Insta story, give me the, the little heart stuff. I like to see that little heart stuff be flooded. And then if you on uh Facebook Live, just go ahead and click share. Still throw me some hearts. Uh, shoot, that's the beautiful thing about both pages. Just show me, look, show me some love by sending me some hearts. See, I, I see a heart. I done got a heart to come. Shoot. Thank you for the heart. See, just keep the hearts going the whole time. If you get carpal tunnel in your hand, I'll pay for your hospital visit. But give me the hearts the whole time. Somebody just should be like this. I'm just saying. Somebody just do it for me. And again, if, if you sprain your finger, hit me up. I'm going to give you a free supplement. So that's what's up. Good morning. Good morning. Let, let's do the church announcements. Church announcements, look, 25 pounds gone in the next 30 days. 50 pounds, wave it away, wave it away. 50 pounds gone before June. Even if you ain't nowhere close to a bikini, guess who gonna put you in one? Again, even if, even if you got a flat booty and your booty like my wall, kind of pancake-ish. Or maybe it's sitting low. It ain't as high as it used to be. Maybe you, maybe the booty used to be high, but maybe it's kind of like a low rider now. You, it's all hydraulics. It's, it's got hydraulics. It used to lift up, but it don't quite. I'm saying, if that's your situation, guess what? It don't even matter. I will create stuff that ain't even there. So again, your booty could be here, but I'm gonna make that thing high and round because that's what I'm gifted in. Uh, again, your stuff could be sitting low. I mean sitting low. I mean from the windows to the wall, low, get low. Whenever they, you know, we party and they say get low, your stuff already naturally low, so you ain't gotta get down as low. If that's your situation, I still got you. Look, we taking fine to a different level and I'm so excited. Can I say I'm excited? Because I, I begin a whole bunch of, I don't know, I might be the only strange, I might be strange in this, but I've been getting a lot of people who are getting divorces, okay? I have a whole bunch of people who just turned 50, okay? Now, for my people who are going through a divorce or breakups, congratulations, because we're going to make people remorseful. I mean, what better time? To get a shut it down body than now. I've been on the opposite end of that thing where, you know, you was with somebody and then they got fined after you. Been there. You mad. You had the party. Shoot, you doing your move. And then your ex come in. You mad. Because she done lost 40. She done gone from a size 16 to a 12. And it's curvy. And y'all ain't no bad terms, so I, you know, I can't holler at you because you still mad at me. 
because I been there. What better time to get a new body after somebody that walked away from you, waved you away? What better time to start a program and get your fine on than when you're 50, when basically you're 50, no matter if it's 51 or 55 or 59, I make your 50s look better than your 30s. What better time to do that right before, right before summer? Because again, you can't hide in white. I don't care how hard you try, you, you'll be walking around all uncomfortable in those, in those undergarments, just all upright. Just all upright, just shoo. You ain't even sexy to yourself, you so upright. You just, I mean, you almost look like T.D. Jakes. When T.D. Jakes be walking around like that, all upright. And if you here in Atlanta, you know Dale C. Bronner, Bishop, walk like that, all upright. They don't have undergarments on what you do. And you all uncomfortable. See, I'm going to be your waist trainer. I'm going to be your body magic. I'm going to become your Spanx. So, welcome to the family in advance. So, if you try to lose 50 pounds, uh, if you try to lose 50 pounds before summer, before June, come on. Inbox me. DM, DM me. Get on the assembly line to five, baby. Because th cause this and right there on your screen, I mean, this is where it's at. And again, look, those numbers, and I love posting those numbers, especially on Wednesday. I mean, we, we produce huge numbers. And we're going to keep producing huge numbers. And we're going to keep breaking necks. We're going to keep dropping jaws. We're going to, you know, Increase our hater rating and up the hater meter and, you know, get that five-second pause every time you walk into a room. That's the expectation. So, come on. Look, if you need me, come on. If you want to change your look, come on. If you need a quick transformation, come on. Let's go. Now, let me give you your move of the day. It's all arms, y'all. Okay? It's all arms. Give me three sets. Okay? Three sets of 25 for each move I show you. Okay? So, you'll be here. Now, watch my angle. Okay, because I'm going to stop it here. I'm not going to be here and I'm not going to be swinging and all that stuff. I'm stopping it here because I still want to keep tension on my guns. Feel me? So if you got arm issues, this is for you. So I'm going to bring it here. I'm going to stop it here. See how short it is? It's one, two, boom, boom, boom. So the count is one, two, three. And you want to keep your elbows pressed against your sides, okay? Give me three sets of 25. Then after you do that, keep your elbows still pressed against your sides, your ribs. Still be here, hand down, kick them out. Kick them out. You're going to stop where your thighs are. Boom. And all you're going to do is kick them out. Give me three sets of 25 on those two, okay? Control it coming back and kick that thing out like you're running track. Like you hollering, stick! It's the same move. It's like stick! But you hear, boom, boom. Same methodology, okay? Now, last thing I need for the three sets of 25 be here, be bent here, shoot your elbows up here, okay? Reach, shoot. This is a back fat and shoulders move. So if you got back fat issues, you know that little chunky part. Up under your bra strap that I'm the king of getting rid of. Give me three sets of 25. If you got me, say, I got you, coach. Let me see what got me. If you got me, say, I got you. My people. My beautiful people. Queen Ola up in the house. See Tony. Look at Tony. Tony, you feeling better? All my people, shoot. Y'all got me. Sitting there looking at all these comments. That's what's up. Now, life homework. Life homework. When things get hard, when things get rough, when life Throws you a curve, and it will. Do not shrink up. Do not shrink up. I know people who go MIA would just disappear in your behind as soon as stuff starts getting a little rough. I mean, when, one minute they're here, next minute, shh, where they at? Now, hey, where they go? You know, I have people that will pop back into my life. You, they, they, when I tell you they pop back into my life, this is how they pop back 
back into my life too. Watch. They'll do this. Oh, hey, coach. Oh, hey. Hey, look. I know I've been gone for a minute. I just had a whole bunch of stuff going on. I had a few people die. Um, you know, went through some depression. You know, had a, a person walk out on me, leave me. Uh, shoot, I had all kinds of stuff going on, but I'm good now. You good now? When all you had to do was just hang in there and press through. When all you had to do was just see it through. But now you just running back up in here like it's all good because life happened to you. Life happens to everybody. But it's all about how do you handle adversity? How do you handle when stuff is chaotic? Do you stand strong? Do you maintain? Do you press through? Or do you cower, do you cower up, become weak, and shrink? Do you get MIA? Are you missing in action? Or are you hard to find when things don't go your way? See, that's a character deal. See, cowards shrink. Cowards basically say, no more, no, don't hit, don't hit me no more. No, please don't hit me anymore. Please, life, don't work me anymore. Stop. Get up off your knees. Get up off your knees. Get up on your feet. Start fighting through your stuff. You're not the first person to go through life. You're not the first person to have stuff pop up on you. You're not the first person to have people down you. You're not the first person to have somebody leave you. But how do you handle stuff when things are not going right? Do you fade or do you stay? See, I need people that stay. I don't, and I look at life like a battle. You know, like a battle. You know, like how when you go to war, you have, you know, people to the right of you, to the left of you, whole bunch of people way back there. The, the worst thing you can be is in a war with a person that as soon as things get hard, they retreat. They retreat. They send to you. They get you in. Go ahead, coach. Boom, I'm here. But I'm... Looking back at you like, hey, where are you, where are you going? The battle is over here. Where are you going? It didn't look like we was going to win, coach. I got scared, coach. I was uncertain, coach. Life started happening to me, coach. So I ran. I faded. I started to shrink up. Stop shrinking. Stop shrinking. And always remember, anything you're going through, I have the good book once said, I never put anything, I'll never put any more on you than you can bear. I'll never put any more on you than you can bear. So whatever you're going through, guess what? You're built for it. You're built for it. And again, your issues ain't brand new. It's not new. Somebody else has defeated your giant for you. Plenty of people. All you got to do is go look and find somebody. Somebody has defeated something you're struggling with. But how did they handle it? See, you can't fight effectively with your back turned, running away, retreating. You can't fight Moving, even in boxing, you move for everything is moving forward sideways, but you still you still attacking. Versus, I got my back turned, I'm walking away, and when I feel like it's over, then I'll come back. That's not the type of person you want to go to war with, because every, that's not the type of person you want to date. That's not the type of person you want to marry. That's not the type of person you want to have kids with. Because as soon as things get hard, they walk away from you. 
you're probably experiencing that right now. Probably with somebody you had a kid with. You're probably experiencing that with people you thought that was going to be down for you until. But everything falls back on you. How do you handle it? And let me say this too and I'll leave you alone. You will attract those type of people that you are. So guess what? If you're a retreater, if you're a quitter, then why would you be surprised when you attract the same type of person? Whenever stuff gets hard, you quit. But you want to attract a soldier who stays in there, who's relentless, who's committed. But whenever things get hard, you're not committed. You quit. But you're expecting somebody to walk into your life that's opposite of what you are. But then you get surprised when things get hard, they walk away from you. You attract who you are. You accept who you are. So I need for you to redefine who you're going to be. That's the beautiful thing about life. If you don't like you, you can always change you. But I always remember, you attract like-minded people. So if you're a quitter, you're going to attract quitters who walk away from you when things get hard. So don't be surprised when the going gets tough, they get going because that's what you do. I thought we was going to be together forever, but you quit on me. But you quit on you. Anytime things get uncomfortable, you quit on you. But you you upset with him because he quit on you when you've constantly quit on you. Stop shrinking up. Stop shrinking up. So let's go. Let's dominate, baby. Let's dominate this day. And again, if you don't like who you are and if you don't like what you're attracting, you kind of start looking at you. That's how you get your power back. That's how you get your keys back. So I'm going to encourage you. Stop shrinking. When things get hard, you get hard. Hang in there long enough to defeat what you need to defeat so you can move on to the next stuff because this is the other part to it. I'll leave you alone. When you don't handle stuff, you can't go to the next level. You can't. That's another subject for another day, but until you learn how to conquer certain things in your life, again, you constantly pray for stuff, you know, bigger and better stuff, but you can't handle the small stuff. Because again, you get a little pressure, you get a little resistance. You start walking, you get lost, they can't find you, but you asking for more when you can't handle the small stuff. God, please bless me with this, that, and the other when the requirements are actually bigger for the stuff that you want, but you haven't learned how to handle the small stuff. Handle the small stuff first, then get to your greater and bigger stuff because it's not going down until you learn how to do that. That's just how, that's the beauty of life. You'll get no more, no less than you can bear until you prove you have proven that you can handle it. That's just how it goes. That's what's up. Stop shrinking. Stop shrinking. Stop shrinking. Love each and every single last one of you. You've gotten your, your, you got your move of the day. You got your life move of the day. Well, your life homework of today. Now let's go out there and dominate. Let's dominate. Look, life is too short to just be living. We need to be living more abundantly. So let's go after bigger. But it's going to require you to stop running away from your issues. It's going to require you to start facing some stuff versus always placing the blame on somebody else on why you ain't doing stuff. It's just too hard. I'm saying. Love y'all. I'm gone.